Well, our next guests are businesswomen, reality TV stars, and mothers. They also happen to be two of the most famous WWE superstars in history. Please welcome Brie and Nikki Bella. Hey, hey, hey girls, Hi, nice to see you. <laughs> El Centro is in the house. I always got to give a shout out to that because we're both border no town kids. Me from Chula Vista, you from El Centro, so very similar neighborhoods. And uh, I love that you um, uh, have risen to the status that you have. I just think it's so cool being border town kids and all. Now, ladies, last time I talked to you, you just had your babies. So congrats again. But it's just so wild to think that you literally had children, what, like 22, 24 hours apart, right? 22 yeah. hours apart. 22. So I went into labor first, my water broke, and then Brie had a C-section 22 hours, 22 hours after Mateo and I. Yeah. Unbelievable, the timing on that right there. Uh, and, and Nikki, this is your, your first time being a mom. Uh, how are you doing now that you're a few months in? <laughs> I'm doing good. I have to say, it, it, they are so right when, they're, when they say, like, you're never fully prepared. Like, you can prepare as much as you want, but you're not. Um, so I definitely didn't realize, oh, my baby. Um, mm. You know, the lack of sleep and just every second worrying about this human being. Like, is he okay? Is he still alive? Am I doing it right? And I have to say, I get such parent envy from Bree and Brian because... I look at them and they have like such an amazing system and they make it look so flawless and easy. And I'm over here like drowning, like what, what is going on? But we're uh, on our second. So you know how that goes, Mario. The second one, it's like easy. Well, yeah, right. the, being that it was your second child, how was, um, how was the transition from one kid to two for you? Well, I will say this. It was a little hard in the sense of I was used to giving so much love to just Birdie. Mm -hmm. So I was like, how do I split it up? And that does come naturally, but you know, I got a really great piece of advice from this mom one time. She was like, listen, when both kids are crying, you go first to your three-year-old because she'll always remember if you neglect her where the baby won't remember. Right. So I've really taken that and it's made my life easier. Even though sometimes Buddy, I'll be breastfeeding and Birdie will fall and I'll have to like unlatch him, put him down and go to her. And then he's kind of like, wait a sec, I was in the middle of eating. <laughs> but at the same time, she appreciates that. And I feel like she's become a really great big sister because of that. Yeah. It's the best. I always say it's like a baby for the baby and you make them part of like yeah. your little crew and then they get very protective. No, that, that's the way to do it. So, girls, my, my family, the Lopez fan band, we're all huge fans of WWE. And I just wanted to point out some photos of our Halloween this past year. So there oh, we go. Oh, my gosh. That, that's my that's daughter, Otis. Sasha Banks. And then my son, Dominic, is the fiend. And then Santino's Otis. And my two dogs are security. Um, <laughs> I mean, that is so cute. Hey, I mean, <laughs> and Otis. Mario, you were a Bella, right? Yeah, yeah, I was a Bella, Bella. That was at night. <laughs> During the day trick or treating, I was Nature Boy Ric Flair, though. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, we're not putting on my Nature Boy Ric Flair outfit. I'm proud to say the 13 year old in me was so fired up. There it is. Oh Great. Twitch, that Ric wow, Flair actually sent me that robe. That's really the Ric Flair's robe. That's a, that's Isn't a that cool? Ric Flair, man. That yes. was good. I, like I said, 13-year-old me. Shoot, 47-year-old me. It was real exciting. <laughs> so I loved it. Um, you I both. Love it. You both retired from wrestling a couple of years ago, but as a fan of the WWE, I'm obligated to ask, do you think you'll come out of retirement and possibly wrestle again? Oh, definitely. I mean, Brie and I, like, you know, recently WWE made their huge announcement about WrestleMania for the next three years. Mm -hmm. So when I heard about Dallas 2022, Hollywood 2023, yeah. I was like, I got chills and I go, Brie, we have never gone after the tag titles. They were, like, right. made for us. Like, there's another run in the Bella Twins. So I'm calling, like maybe in Dallas, WrestleMania, or we're just, at some point we're coming back. Yeah, and I have to say, I had this moment when I wrestled Stephanie McMahon at SummerSlam. I'll never forget when we came back after our match and her three little girls were in um, what we call Gorilla, which is the place before we got to the ring. When we came back to Gorilla to see their faces oh. when, they, when she came through the curtain, they were like, mom, like the goosebumps, the tears. They just looked at their mom like she was a superhero. And I really want to be able to wrestle in front of Mateo, Buddy, and Birdie. I want this. And come back and then look at me the same way that Stephanie's daughters looked at her. I mean, nothing would be better than being in the ring and just looking over at the front row and just seeing your kids in awe of you. Like yeah. that would just, especially as women, like how empowering that would be. Mm -hmm. It'd be incredible. So I feel like in two years, two years. let the boys be two. I love it. I love that plan. That would be priceless if that happens right there. Just such a great yeah. moment. Um, I want to talk about your podcast. I mean, you have kids, you have a reality show, a bunch of businesses, and, and now you're doing a podcast. 
on top of all that, what do you all discuss? Oh my gosh, gosh what everything. <laughs> you know, for us, it's like happy hour. It's like we drink a little wine and we just talk. And I think the great thing that we like is that you see it from our reality shows, we don't have a filter. So we just like let loose. And I think people love that about us. They do. It's very much like a variety show. And I think one of my, like my favorite segments on the show is Bree's husband, Daniel Bryan, does what we call oh, yeah. Bella Brains. So it's almost like, are you smarter than a fifth grader or a Bella? He <laughs> asks us three questions that we go against each other and it'll be about the planets or like how many countries are there, bodies of water. They go, how many planets are there? Bree, don't. <laughs> they just found a new one. So I'm not going to answer that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know either, by the way. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. You know, he'll ask us and he'll just laugh at us, but it's like a really entertaining segment. Very cool. Well, ladies, we're gonna take a quick beat. We're gonna have more with the Bellas when we come back.